Hey guys, you are about to watch the first of our Star Wars X-Wing Tour Championship Series from Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's an exciting series and I can't wait to share it with you. However, uh, on this first game, there's a lot of shenanigans going on. We've got R2-D2 who's recovering shields. We've got Chewbacca who's drawing, drawing fire. We've got uh, Darth Vader who's giving crit. We've got all sorts of stuff happening and sometimes Zach and I are unsure as to what's going on because uh, the opponents aren't really talking so much and the cards we cannot see. So if there's any confusion there, we apologize for it, uh, but it's a great game nonetheless. Check it out, enjoy this series, and we love you from Team Covenant. Hello guys and welcome to the store championship of X-Wing from Tulsa, Oklahoma at the Covenant Store. My name is Steven. And I'm Zach. And we are looking at Big D Dennis Harleyan on the right and Gavin Storman Norman on the left. Sure to be a showdown of, uh, of the century, of the 2015s. Absolutely. And we were at a, a sold out capacity here, 32 players playing in the store championship. And these two fine gentlemen made it all the way to the top four and they both made it with a two-ship list, which is kind of the craze right now. Two ships, Zach, tell me more. Well, you basically run two <laughs> really good ships who roll highly, like, statistically high odd rolls the whole game. And, uh, you know, you don't miss often, so those, those kind of things tend to work out for you. Here's a, let, me, let me lay it on you in a, in a cynical way, and then you can tell me if it's something worth being concerned about or not. Hit me. Uh, I see a lot of ships, particularly the big ones, that have 360 arcs. I see a Phantom here on the board that essentially has a 360 arc because it can do anything at once and shoot anything. It, it's highly mobile. I see a bunch of ships that... Taking an asteroid damage on turn two, oh. by the way. Storming Norman, storming into the asteroids. Storm Sorry, right I had to, had to mention that. Yeah, that's actually supremely important. Just barely missed that turn. Look at that. Wow. Uh, well, I'm immediately suspect. Um, but the other thing is that all of these ships have ways of basically cutting their odds of failure failure uh they've got gunner they've got you know han solo doing his thing we've got all those kinds of effects so what is this the x-wing that we've come to to know and love is it all just about maximizing uh maximizing the the numbers game there and uh, making sure you always have arcs on things uh i mean i think this is a huge conversation those are certainly goals that you always want to be aiming for but i think what really happened is the phantom came out and because the phantom came out and it's highly mobile highly offensive hard to hit um it made 360 arcs go from good to great uh, yes. and maybe even from good to almost necessary to so be able to get shots on the whisper so or on what the, you're saying is the phantom. we got a ship that was so maneuverable that was playing the game i want to play so well that it actually heralded in the uh the arrival of the 360 arcs because nothing else could keep up with this ship yeah it's it's kind of a it's a tough balancing act and i mean you see that but then at the same time you see see lists like this right like i see that double falcon and and there weren't very many swarms at this tournament but I think a, a well-played swarm or mini swarm, as we saw at Worlds Top Four on one side of the bracket, can take these ships, these these 360 arcs down super quick because they have so many dice. But it's it is kind of a nice like counter counterbalance. You have swarm, you have the highly maneuverable, don't get hit by the swarm, and then you have the 360 to deal with the highly maneuverable. But the 360s tend to go down to the massive amount of ships, so you have this kind of nice triangle happening. That sounds beautiful. You've convinced me. And I mean, th there's a lot of things you can do too that aren't uh, running 360 arcs that that are good to to thwart the Phantom, like anything that gives them stress. You know what? The one thing I really just hope that I see is a little bit of corn horn somewhere in these corn. in these upper rounds because I I've heard rumors that that he's an answer to this kind of thing, and uh, you know the evenings are my jam. So, <laughs> well, I was surprised that uh, you know Tim Look and I at were this wild maneuver. Yeah, by the way, he's getting in there. And he's cloaking that cloak. So he, insane, here's the, by the thing, way. though. Here's the thing. We've been doing uh, you know whirly daisy here for a while. These guys are going in circles. You don't want to cut that Phantom in too soon where there's two Falcon shots on it and really no return fire, especially with the Decimator out here kind of doodling around. So there he goes. Now he's coming in. Yep, and it, you know, with that cloak and decloaking action, I mean, he can decloak to the right and do a one left turn and still be way away from those Falcons. Yeah. Um, or he can decloak to the right and do like a two left bank. Oh, here they go right here. There, is yeah, that? this is real. This is, the engagement's starting to happen. Oh, man, they like a, like a pack of dogs. They circled each other. Okay. 
And now they're coming right into the middle for the face-off. Boom. He's going to get it. He's going to check a target lock, I believe, there. And he's going to... He's going to show weakness. Maybe not. Maybe he's going to focus. I don't know. Is he just shooting? Yeah, Han's shooting. He's shooting. He's shooting first. You know what I mean? Uh, hello. He's tr triggering Han. Looks like we got one hit. Focus. Going to spend it. No damage. All right. So Decimator gets out freely. Not a, not a problem at all. All right. Decimator firing back. Going to get two hits here. Dennis on the one evade. So one damage. Is it going to trigger Vader? I don't think so. Because it's Chewbacca. Yeah. Probably The, probably the Phantom there was, was cloaked, too, so he's not going to get any shots. Um, looks like Chewie was out of range. No, Han was out of range. No, yeah, that's Han right there coming in. Chewie, uh, Chewie and Decimator had the original face-off face, face -off there. I kind of like that. I like the idea. We got any shots? Well, we got some moves first. We got to move. Give me shots, baby. That Phantom. What do you think he's going to do? Is, is he going to turn or is he going to bank? I think he's going to, like, two bank forward. You know, yeah, that's the... At this point, you know, for the Phantom, there's really no consideration for maneuvers aside from just keep him in. Hey, two left bank. Two Money left maker. bank. Boom. Yeah, four dice on offense. Uh, that's Whisper, a really good move. Whisper loves the Falcon because the odds of him hitting... He has Gunner. He's got fire control systems, so if you miss on the first one, you get a second shot with a target lock. As long as Whisper can hit, you get your focus and your cloak back, and he's already he, he takes the evade action, which I think is the correct call on this build. Um, it's going to be a really tough ship to hit. Man, this is going to be a mess in the, right <laughs> in the middle of these asteroids. It's going to get... Ooh, yeah, so Dennis going to gonna take that away. It's like he's got a 360 arc. Does he, his, does, he does he hit? Does he hit? Does he hit? He might be on the He's on the asteroid for sure. That base on the on the asteroid. So worth noting here, number number. Uh, yeah, this could be a good break here for uh, Mr. Gavin. Range two on Han. Range two on Han. Rolled two focus. Looks like that's just gonna be a gunner, if you know what I mean. Oh, gunner, yeah, it seems reasonable. A good choice, Gavin. Yeah. All right, hit. Two hits. Hitting a crit. Target locked the blank, got nothing. Blank on the Falcon, so that's gonna be two damage. And Han's taking some heat. Down three shields. There he goes. Can the Phantom get in as well? Yep. yep. Range three. It's a range three shot. It's going to be four dice, and he's got all the goods. I, I love this build of, of Whisper. It's funny. You know, I've, I've played one with uh, Rebel Captive and um, Ooh. very defensive versus this, which is all offense. All right, going to get target lock, going to trigger Gunner. That's what makes this the jam. Oh, man, that's so good. Yep. I didn't even know that worked like Go that. Go ahead and get the target lock. Only two hits after three rolls, man. Yeah. That's pretty absurdly bad. Two blanks, though. It's going to be two damage on Han. Going to get Focus and Cloak back for Whisper, which is a great exchange. Han's down five shields. Not looking bad for the Storm and Norman here. Yeah, fully out of shields now on Han's end of the board. Now Darth Vader can start laying in those crits if he wants to, if I'm not mistaken. Is that what you do, Zach? Does that look good for you? Uh, the, the tough part of the crits... Um, yeah, I... I, I just tough, realized. Right? Well, I, I just realized uh, if you assign the the crit with Vader, I, I don't think he can chewy it. Well, that's a Han. It's Han uh, anyway. That's Han Solo. Yeah, 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 no, that's Chewie. Chewie Chewy has the... draw the fire, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he can take the crit and then ignore it. But I, I think the the wording on Vader is, is different. We'll see. I'm not exactly Ooh, sure. I'm that. interested. It's like you can take two damage to assign a critical to. Yeah, and there's no action. There's no opportunity to draw the fire. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, we're back to the dials. Going to decide where to go. And uh, really just been a bit of a dice game here. Just matching it up. Just getting shots. Yeah, and you know, Whisper here, not... Like, Whisper will be happy to stay at range 3 all game long. Uh, range 3, Falcon's going to get a roll 2 dice. But it does not care because it's getting the extra defense die. And it's going to be 5 defensive die. Um, so we'll, we'll see where we land. Then it's just... Surprised by the two forward, but uh, I, I don't think it's I don't think it's questionable Ooh, at there. all. Looky there, that bump. 
Let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. That is a win. All right. Boom, boom, boom. So we just got a bump. Boy, too bad he's not. Uh, isn't there's a decimator that bumps things and hurts him? Isn't there? there is, yes. That would be very interesting in this game, because um, you could you can bump those falcons. <laughs> okay, are we gonna be in arc here? Well, the, the, all those ships on the left there have three sixties, so <laughs> I think we'll be fine. I think they're all gonna get a shoot. Now we gotta look at uh, Shirno's ability here. Range one is good for him. And I don't think, I think that was just out, don't you? Yep. Looks like he's only rolling three dice here, so. All right, so Han shooting uh, what I have to believe is the decimator. Yep, there. he got one hit. He's going to go ahead and trigger Han. Going to get one focus. Spin the focus. For a hit? Or there was no focus, focus spent? Oh, well, he didn't spend it. He just didn't get anything. All right, decimator here. Going to focus. Going to get two hits on Han. Just laying in that damage. Two blanks. Going to be two whole this time. No criticals, which is critical. You know Woo. what I mean? Woo! That's tough. You know, it, Dennis doing some interesting things here with his list. Usually you see Fat Han, and this is actually Fat Chewbacca. And it's it's kind of tough because if either of these players gets down to just Chewbacca or Whisper, it's going to be like one-on-one. -on -one. It'll be hard to score damage. They're both yeah. going to be very defensive. And it'll be very strange. All right, looks like he's getting three hits here. That's good. That's good for Dennis. <laughs> yeah, even in the odds a little bit here. So Decimator taking some heat. Oh, I can't fire anything. Yep, Cloak can't fire. And, you know, if if it comes down to Chewbacca versus Whisper, which would be the likelihood at this point. That'd um, be tough. The, the thing about it is Whisper's going to get the going to be able to take an evade, going to have Gunner and Target Locks the whole time on the ship. So as long as he can keep the Falcon in arc, it's going to be really hard for the Falcon to score damage, and Whisper is going to consistently get his three or four hits in, um, which will slowly, one damage at a time, whittle that Chewbacca down. So we'll, uh, we'll see how, how it plays out. That, that would be a bizarre endgame for me, because you also have RT, RTD2 is going to be recovering shields. Uh, yeah, we got C-3PO to guess the evades that we've seen. Basically, in that exchange, if, if Falcon takes an evade action and C-3PO calls zero, then at three hits, you take one shield away, go into zero shields, trigger R2 to get the shield back. Yeah, which we saw uh, in Worlds. Yeah. We saw in the Worlds games. So with the Phantom rolling four dice, though, and consistently getting the target locks and the gunner's second shot, if you can consistently get four, you'll actually do one additional damage that they can recover each turn. And then you start flipping up crits with yeah, R2. Yeah, so you slowly start whittling down the, the hole. And, you know, with an evade and a focus and four defensive dice on the Phantom, it's going to be really tough for Chewbacca, who doesn't really have any offensive... Um, he's going to be having to take the evade, so it would be really tough for him to, like, consistently score hits. So we'll see how it goes. I think Dennis really needs to get get two Falcons to one Phantom to, to make this a thing. And in this case, Gavin would prefer to get down to one Falcon on both ships, but even a Whisper versus a Falcon would be an okay exchange. I've, I've been surprised as how out of the uh, match, at least the last exchange, uh, Whisper has been. Because, you know, two Falcons against one Decimator is the way that you get two Falcons against Whisper. <laughs> it is uh, certainly it just, the way. Just takes him out. And Dennis actually, man, he is rolling poor here on these hits. On the attack, he's rolling Not pretty poor. Much. Yeah. Especially with Han. I mean, he gets two rolls. He should be getting, averaging about one and a half hits um, if he's not willing to spend his focus. So one or two hits is, is normal. But consistently getting one would be yes. frustrating, especially against a ship like the Decimator who's not rolling defensive dice. All right, one hit, one crit. One hit, one crit. And there's the focus. So he's going to take a damage, and I think probably going to draw their fire there from Chewbacca. And he's deciding if he wants to Vader right now. I think is the main decision. 
So he just took the crit. Didn't do anything. All right, two hits from Chewbacca. What else does Dennis have up his sleeve here to put these Falcons ahead of the game? Just focusing up. Decimator actually starting to now look pretty crippled. Yep, it only has about five hole left. It Same goes down Han. fast. Its number one mission is to kill Han here. And here comes the Phantom. So Whisper going to try to help out now. Oh, I think so. They get shields. And surely not going to cloak here. No. I, I think it's definitely an evade. That's what we ran into. You got ran into a little bit. I don't know if he had a shot a couple uh, exchanges ago, but he was cloaked and couldn't take the shot regardless. Yeah, I think this is just Gavin being really safe with Whisper, and, and that's fair. Again, if you get down to Whisper and either of these two Falcons, I think the odds are in Gavin's favor. So yeah. as long as you don't lose Whisper, like you just can't can't lose him. So you don't want any range one shots. You don't want any shots without a cloak. And sometimes that. it's just not worth the risk. Look at that move. Boy, Decimator is just really... Uh, it's funny watching these big ships play ball out here. <laughs> you know? Yep. It's like, these guys are big. They take up a lot of space. They do. And, you know, even a one forward is a very large move yeah. for a big ship. It looks like Chewie's interested in that asteroid next turn, potentially. <laughs> uh, I think he should be able to turn out of it. It's, you know, as long as the template doesn't hit it. Mm -hmm. Um... So a turn should we'll should get him. We'll There's Han giving three hits. So hit the crit. Change one evade. On, Hitting a crit, range three, so the decimator's actually yeah, rolling to die here. Yeah, that's two damage, so he's still dead anyway. That's good. That's on the option. All right, decimated down. This Downtown. Is, this is big news. Wow. For Dennis. Uh, Phantom's going to be out of range, so nothing happening there. Gavin's well, got some work. This is huge now. Yep. So how... Man, I, I feel like Dennis's odds here just went through the roof. Yeah, um, again, I, I think I think Whisper's going to be a really hard ship for Dennis to hit. So if Gavin can stay at range three and get some... He needs to get Han off the board as soon as humanly possible. Yep. But if, as long as he can stay at range three, I think he's going to be okay. He's got a target lock right now on Han already. Um so he should be able to do some pain to Han. Han doesn't really have anything to boost his defense. He can't take an evade action. He's going to roll one die. And uh, Man, look at this. Let's see if he fits. Ooh. I don't, I don't think that's going to fit. It's not quite. Nope. So he's going to bump. So he's not even going to get an action. Uh which is not exactly what oh, Dennis wants. My, uh, it's not a huge deal. And there it goes right in there. Well executed. <laughs> well executed. All right, so loses an action. Hey, this is the time. If Whisper wants to lay it on. It's right now. I think, unfortunately, he does have an asteroid right in the way there. Uh, if, you, if you go close to the corner, close to the corner, um, the back left of um, Han at this point is close. To, it, it won't actually go through that, that rock. Well, it's not Han. All right, hitting a crit on Whisper, and Whisper's going to evade, too. Pretty classic. Yep, had the evade, evade uh, token as well. So with a hit and a crit, it's going to be really hard on this. Going to spend a target lock here. Oh, baby. Yep. Two crits and a hit on Han. Range three is going to get a roll two dice here. That's range three? Yep, it was barely out of range, too. Of course I don't. No evades. So, so boom. Two hits and a crit. I think Chewie's going to take the critical for him. And what is it? Yeah. Button malfunction. We should probably have everybody log on. Focus, focus. And there's the focus, focus cloak that we know Whisper for so well. And, he, and during the tournament, he was calling it the focus cloakus. I think that's acceptable. Which is exceptional. And acceptable. So Han Solo now looking pretty limpy. Uh, we'll focus that and go for three hits. Well, right? And he spins the focus, goes for three. 
and focuses all evades, four evades. So well. Yeah, at five dice at range three, evade token and a focus. Yeah, it's that's incredibly difficult to hit. It's just all the dice in Casterly Rock. Nice move there, nice little maneuver by Dennis. All right, well, you think Old Whisper can knock Han Solo out of the park here? I think it's a done deal, my friend. It is a done deal. Decided to decloak to the right. Wouldn't have been surprised for a forward there, but again, playing it safe, gonna probably hide behind this rock, which is gonna be good for him, ultimately. Looking him go. Yep. That's so good. There it is. He's going to evade like a champ. Now, that is ultimately probably just going to give Han another dice on this attack, right? You uh, on defense? Yeah. Yeah, but it is going to give Whisper so you probably protection. range three through a rock on both shots if, if Dennis has two, which I think he will. So, again, it's it's super conservative. But with Whisper, again, you have a target lock. Here comes and Lebo now. I do want you to finish that thought, but I hadn't seen Lebo all game, and I'm excited to see it now. There he is, to hopefully get him out of range. Yeah, so I think Han's well out of range here, and now... Well, we'll get a shot on Chewie. Yep, and that's actually important, because if Gavin can't cloak here... Um, I don't know what the laser's all about. I was seeing if the asteroid's in, the, in play. Uh, it's clean. That shot is clean, ladies and gentlemen. Money. Just a hit and a crit, no focus to spend. But if, if Whisper can't shoot here to recloak, it's a problem. Yeah. All right, so it takes one shield off of uh, Chewie. We're going to be range three uh, with an evade and a focus here, rolling five dice. Three hits, still not enough. More than enough. And that's pretty uh, pretty standard. I mean, rolling five evade dice, you know the odds on that. Do you know the odds on that? Uh, I do know the odds. So you have three evades, two focus on the die. Um, so oh, it's, my. It's, it's five and eight on each die because you have the focus. So every die has to come up one and six on the miss. Uh, Three and eight. Oh, okay, that's right. It's eight-sided. Yeah, that's right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So three and eight. Um... So I mean, you should you should realistically at least get two, focus or evade, two yeah. of either of those. Plus you have the token. So again, that's that's what I'm saying. It's like to do damage, you're gonna have to lay in more than three three hits per turn. You just kind of I mean, in those kinds of situations, you just gotta put dice on and then wait for them to roll blanks. Yeah, that's that's basically the uh, that's basically the plan, and that always has kind of been the plan against these uh, you know super advanced Tie Fighter models. Whether it was the old school tie advanced or then, I mean even soon tier would push the limit. Yeah, right? then it was soon tier and now it's whisper. Uh, and I think that's it's that is the fundamental risk of these ships because Gavin could roll five dice and literally roll all blanks. Yep. And with a hit hit crit, that can be the game. That can be it. That's yep. just the game. Um, that's that's why you take the evade action though because you're guaranteed to cancel at least one. It's a guarantee. Um, and not just lose your ship. But yeah, it, if on any of these attacks Gavin just comes up blanks. But Dennis also needs to come up hit on that same yes, exchange. Yeah. So the variability there is insane. Yeah, so it's like the you know one in X that Gavin's going to roll blanks. Dennis also needs his one in X where he rolls all hits. Yeah, wow. But, I mean, we played enough uh, Monpog back in the day. That, it like, happens. You know, I'd pick up 20 dice, six-sided, and all of them were blank. There's one <laughs> blank side on every one of those dice, and, all and they were yeah. all blank. But, it, you know, the, the, the secret here, and Dennis is going to need to make it happen before Han gets off the board, which may not be possible after, after this exchange. But the secret is multiple attacks, because Gavin's only going to have one evade and one focus. Yep. So with two attacks, and especially with one of those being Han Solo who gets to reroll, you, you just have to have a turn where you get some damage in here. Yeah. And he is coming after Han. Well, the good news is at least Han's going to be able to shoot first. Han is so, going to shoot first. So Han shoots, you know, Whisper probably just takes Han off the table, but then Chewie has that shot, and that's going to be the shot that makes things happen. Even the, the early Han shot before the focus and all that is actually pretty critical as well. Maybe strip that evade token, and then uh, you hope for blanks. So now this could be really big. Um, I don't know if Han's going to be out of range here. It's going to be really close if he's in Whisper's arc. And if he's not, this Boy, will I'll be the you, turn. Well, I'll tell you, he's got Lebo, right? I mean, he could Lebo if he... Well, I don't think he'd fit anywhere. Well, yeah, that's true. 
All right, so he, it looks like Whisper doesn't have... Oh, Han's going to shoot first. All right. I was like, this doesn't make any sense. And Han, okay. again, Han's super important because Han's shooting first. So he shoots before Whisper gets to reclose. Yes, very important. Which makes this the is, odds go through the seal. This is where you got to do it. You got to get the hits here. All right, he's got... Two uh, focus. That's tough. He's, he's going to trigger gunner Han. Uh, oh, he's going to haunt it. Yep, I don't know. You had two. Oh, that's a good reroll. All right, gonna hit a crit. Hit a crit. He's blanks. All right, so he's gonna use the token on one. He's gonna lose a shield. That's one hit. Whisper's down to three total left. Oh man, if Whisper was out of arc, this this would be a critical turn. Looks and like he's Whisper not. Gets Range it. one. Gonna go ahead and use the target lock. Two hits, two, hits, two, two crits. crits. Yeah, that is no bad news bears. There's no way. There's nothing he can do. Nothing he can do. I guess a draw their fire could. He'd have to. Nope. nope. That's just going to be one very dead Han Solo. Yeah, there goes Han. And at least, hey, at least, uh, you know, fire control is not going to do anything here. We're going to get to recloak and focus. All right, so he, we're down to it. We're down to the Whisper Chewy match. And this is going to be a slog, guys. <laughs> sit back, relax, and get a drink because. Oh, I mean, baby. That's, that's significant. We let, we just knocked another shield off of Whisper. All right, so Whisper is shieldless. That is that's a big turn for Dennis right we there. We are potentially one crit away from this game being over, and it's going to be tough. This like, is like going to be wild. So man. just just to go into the math here, um, Chewie has no way of re-rolling things. Right. He, he can target lock, but he's going to pretty much be relegated to an evade once he's shieldless to make sure he can stick with his health. Yeah. So once Chewie is out of shields, he can start using R two D two, and it's going to be tough because he's got the I'll call zero, get one from C-3PO, evade action, take one, get my shield back with R2. Yeah. Fat Han, fat Chewie thing. You've got to do that. Uh, on the other side, Whisper, though, is going to get a shoot first. So Whisper should have a target lock for the rest of the game on Chewie, a focus, and an evade. Hold the, hold the phone here. Are we out of arc? I don't know that Whisper has a shot here, man. He's going to take an evade. Um, so that means he thinks he has an arc. We'll see if he has an arc. I think Boy, he that's, does. That's I tough. Mean, it's tough. We got a weird angle on this, but but goodness, that looks so like not an arc to me. Summon Here the we laser. Go. Take it to the judges. They looked good. I think. They Man, looked, that was a quick laser that call. That was a there. good laser. Yeah. One hit. One. Okay. Hey, that's three fine. focus though. Dennis but, doesn't even need a roll, right? Well, he does because he's gonna evade it. Now Gunner's gonna trigger, and he's gonna get the target line. Oh right. Which is the problem, right. and then what's right. awesome with what's going on here. Oh, goodness. Gonna spend the target lock, gonna be four hits here, maybe some crits, and he's gonna get the target lock oh, right man. back. Boy, this whisper's unbelievable, man. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm sold. I'm, I'm, I'm out sold of my seat. to the guy in this seat. I am out of my seat. I have, I have seen it. All right, so uh, Chewie's gonna spend the focus, I think. Or the evade token, rather. So, wow. And he's going to get the focus and evade it. And the cloak. So, again, four dice versus two is three. Three hits. Three hits. hits. You gotta, that's what you got to do. But with an evade token and a focus. He's just going to evade it. Two evades. Again, so Dennis is going to need his three hit roll with Chewie. He doesn't get a reroll. Mm. Um, on the same turn that Gavin gets blanks. You know what I'd be interested in, in knowing the math on is... Is it more advantageous for Dennis to be at range three, range two, or range one? <laughs> the problem. <laughs> I can't. I mean, I, I can't do it. I can't do it right here. I'd need to get my abacus out. But that's a that's a real good question. I think to ask ourselves as X-wing players. I think. Where do you I, want the math to be? I think that right now Dennis needs to be at range one. Yeah. And, and I say that because all Dennis needs is a single turn. Yeah, I would get range one with a target lock, like that would be the goal. Get one shot where you get all the dice, and you need Gavin to roll back because you only need a critical that is a two damage, which is like a fourth of the criticals in the deck, or two damage that he can't evade. Yep. Um, if it gets down to it, and you're you're down to this slog fest, you you can't let him catch up on health here. Didn't say we didn't. He didn't. I think he may have used R2 there, or at least tried. Which would be incorrect. That would be real, real incorrect. That would make it the most broken thing in the universe. 
zero. Guess is zero. Gets zero. Gonna spend the evade. That means he's gonna take two here. Yep. Yep. And again, Dennis is gonna need. Well, there you go. Three hits. Now we just need blanks here from Gavin if Dennis is gonna pull out of here. So he gets one evade. Gonna spend the focus. Gonna spend the token. Oh man. And that's that's where it's just a problem because you can get. You just need two focus or evade to just nullify the attack every time. So those those odds are just pretty good to get at Nuts, least two. Man. And even if you if you get one, right? If you get a focus or evade on those dice and yep. then spend your evade token, then Dennis has to get his all three hits for it to even matter. So Gavin at this point legitimately zero zero of those, all blanks, would mean if Dennis rolls blanks or one hit, he still doesn't do damage. If he gets one of anything, Dennis, all of Dennis's rolls except for all hits does nothing. That's crazy. But that's why I think range one with the target lock is the Falcon's best friend right now. And why you also see Gavin not letting that happen. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to take a turn of just getting that target lock whenever you're just watching your health disappear. Yeah, and you know, Gavin being a, at a higher pilot skill here makes it tough too because if Dennis could get out of arc and not give... Uh, whisper the shot it would be a big deal but gavin can decide whether to cloak or not based on his arc after he's moved two hits and a crit he guesses one he gets two so if all of them are evaded uh, no. um i was gonna don't spend that evade token if you spend the evade token it gets to re-roll uh, yeah, yeah there you go yeah. just take the one well done <laughs> do not spend the evade token and return fire Gonna get one hit. And one see crit. Hey, it could be Blanksy's. Well, well doesn't matter. No, he just has the token. token. That's the point. He's got the token. Yep. I keep thinking there's a there's silver a... lining here. And I think I think there's a I think Dennis is using R2 here. I'm almost certain. I'm almost certain. I hope he's not. I hope he's not. But I mean, Gavin's got to know. I mean, you don't you don't come into a yeah. store championship top four not understanding how R two D two works. I hope. Yeah, I mean, I, I was watching this game and I'm I'm pretty confident he wasn't. But I, like I was watching this game in person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whisper taking the old evade. All right, seems like the correct action. Gonna go range three here. Money, target lock, focus. No, no focus. Just three hits. Dennis gets zero. One, two. You're gonna lose and the shield. Takes a shield. Yeah. Return fire. Pretty classic here. Range three. Now he's rolling five dice with an evade and a focus. Yeah, this is crazy. The odds are so bad. Oh goodness. Three hits. We just need blanks. But you're and not gonna we get didn't him. get him. Yeah, I mean rolling four there is a little excessive, but he he only needs. Two of those to yeah, be Yeah, look, there's RTD2 right there. He just rolled the dice for it. Not that it mattered. I mean, there's nothing to flip up. That's crazy. Hmm. I don't know what's going on, guys. I. He was TOing this thing anyway. Ah, uh, your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, I actually do remember. Um. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I remember the game before in the top eight I was watching uh, because Boba Fett made the top eight against this uh, this Dennis, the Big D Double Falcon list. and uh, Big D Double Ds? Double Ds. Um, so I was really interested to see how Boba Fett worked and the just the excited that he made it to the top eight in general. And Dennis continued, like, for, like, three turns in a row, forgot to trigger R2. Uh. And then one turn was so, like, on point on triggering R2 that he forgot to attack. <laughs> It's like he missed R2 because he was like, or he missed Chew to fire with Chewie because he was like, ah, to trigger R2. That's awesome. Uh, and it was, and his opponent was like, are you sure? And he was like, yeah, we're going to go to end phase so I can trigger this thing. He's like, all right. And then they're doing the dials and he's like, oh my God, I didn't attack. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, I asked you, like, I was like, hey, are yeah. you sure about this? So, all right, the old whisper evade session continues. Yeah, I'm going to, I don't know. Is that... I don't know, man. See, there's R2 again. But I think we're without shield, so that makes some no, sense. He's, he's got damage. See, he's got the damage he's flipping up here. Oh, there it is. So he's. I think he's. I think he legally was triggering R2 this whole time. But was he? He wasn't on shields, was he? 
He gotta be out of shields for R2. I think he was I think he was out of shields. I think I think there was draw their fire happened earlier. Um that was taking away those shields. You guys watching at home, you just you let us know. <laughs> what is going on? You let us know. Cause... Everything seemed kosher when I was watching and paying I was only paying attention to this while it was happening too. Alright. I'm just kidding. Alright. I trust, I believe. All right, so we got a loopy loop. This is, I think, this is Dennis's chance. By the way. Wow, what is this? Uh, Are we gonna be a here? turn. No, it's not failing. It's it's a glory. <laughs> <laughs> Whisper getting in there. Range one. Rolling five dice on Chewbacca. This. So, the thing about it is, this, just just ace it. Just th kill it. This here. is how both players are going to be able to score serious damage. Yeah. So it's it's how Gavin's going to be able to not just do but one Gavin damage. But Gavin didn't need this. Gavin didn't need this. Gavin does not need this. Um. He's going for a coup de gras. He doesn't need it, but like I'm happy he's going for it. Oh, there's all hits. That's four hits and a crit, I believe. He's gonna. Dennis gonna get zero. He gets one. I think he took the evade, is what he's saying. He's gonna take three damage. Gonna get, bring Chewbacca way down south. And uh, again, but this this is the chance that Dennis needed, and I'm kind of surprised we didn't see a target lock there. From Dennis, so that he can reroll and guarantee he has yeah. a shot at, at making yeah. some magic happen here. But uh, he took the evade, so we'll see what happens. Here we go. We've got four dice coming, and they've got to work. This is where Dennis just can't scrub it. Oh my god, that's great. That's four, four hits. hits. That's everything he needs. Oh, and they're all evaded. Magic. No. Yep, yep. So no. That's where, so Dennis, Dennis got the four hits he needed. And no. uh, that's crazy. The Gavin odds were the, there. I mean, it, it, it could have been. That was his chance. Target lock didn't matter, but like, two, he rolled them all. He rolled all symbols on them dice. Crazy. Yep. That that was that was certainly his chance. And uh, again, the problem even at range one here is that he he has to get the hits on the same turn that Gavin doesn't on the evades. So it's just kind of a a bad deal. Yeah. But you have to. You just have to keep. That's your only chance. Goodness gravy, man. Hey, we got another shot here. I mean, we got the same thing going on. Assuming Dennis can live. That is the assumption. So he, you want him to take the target lock. You want him to take the target lock there. Well, this is getting a little fishy because he's low on health. Fishy. But, like, you can't... You're obviously not winning this game if you don't get it yeah, now. Yeah, that's the thing. So I, I think last turn he should have taken the target lock because he had extra health to spare. And if he had he's it... Still I think he still take it here. Oh, Let's still take yeah. it here. Yeah, it's, I, I would still take it here. But if he had done it last turn, he'd still have it, right? Because he wouldn't yeah. need to use it. Yeah, absolutely. And so now he would have the target absolutely. lock when he needs it. And he could focus here, too, and yeah. then just, like, make sure... Because you, you, you've got to have a chance. That four it's, dice range one. It's hard, man. I mean, if I weren't wasn't watching this outside of playing it, I would I would not have thought of it that way either. You kind of get in the, the rhythm and the habit of, like, this is what I do with my fat Chewy. You know, I, I take the evade, and then I guess this, and this is how my end game goes. But, you know, being able to adapt and, like, see what needs to be happening here. Yeah. I, I think if you just look across and do the math, um, and it's it's hard to pull yourself away from the game sometimes like that. I, I think that's the only way. It looks like oh. it's gonna be range two. And there you have it. I mean, look at that. We're gonna have Three nothing minutes. on the roll. Yeah, Gavin did that. Gavin not get a shot. Gavin there. didn't have a shot. That was another oh, chance. Again, if he had a target lock there. Um, oh my goodness. That could have been oh, could have been the goodness, jam. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Yeah. So I I think Dennis had a couple chances here. To, to kind of at least give himself a shot. Uh, I just think his odds are bad if he doesn't take those shots. Cer certainly. I mean, and he, he could have rolled up those three dice and just just made it happen. Yeah, if he well. had a target lock focus there, then that could have been. Because roll, Gavin's rolled two dice, right? So he might get one statistically evade, probably not two, and he's got the token. So you can at least score one damage, yeah. maybe two. Um, so we'll uh, we'll see how this goes, but I think I think that that exchange, that two attack exchange, is the exchange that, that this was looking for. That was a moment. That was the moment of the game. That was a that was put that on the reel. Put that on the highlight reel. That's that's what the people want to see. That's that's but where it that's had what to this happen. Game built to. Yeah, that's, that's where that's, it had to happen. These are big decisions being made. Now I have a feeling this is going to be a slow demise. Well, maybe a quick demise of Chew, Chewbacca. I don't think it'll be so quick. He's still got the, I can basically only take a damage a turn. Going to get four hits uh, I here. I think it'll be pretty quick here, Zach. <laughs> so Dennis has the evade. Probably going to call zero. Look at that dice perfectly framed by a little planet down there. It's Look like at it's that glowing. bottom left dice. It's glowing. It's glowing dice there. All right, you got one. Going to spend the evade token. Going to take two. Only going to be able to, basically taking the R2 shield and a damage. He's down to, I think, three. 
we'll uh, we'll see what happens again. Here's just another not fantastic odds. Was that all focus? All focus, and you know this this is a I think a big reason why people prefer the the fat Han version as well. Because it lets you still play safe like Dennis is playing. Consistent offense. Except for you can have consistent offense throughout yeah. the game. So, um, you know, it's, it, Chewie is definitely going to be the tankier, ignore crits, has a draw their fire, can recover the stuff. But do you can't lose Han in that game. Do you think at the beginning that you just plow in and try to take Whisper off the table? I, it, it, I don't even know. So... Uh, it didn't, I think Dennis played it pretty well. Like he had two Falcons to one for a turn or two. Yeah, I mean, I think the the turns where he had the two Falcons to the one Phantom, he wasn't doing quite enough. And then once you get down to one on one, there's certain things you have to do against this. But I guess either right, like a Fat Falcon, Han or Chewie, or this Whisper, um, they're a problem. And, and they're normally you run them with ships that. You, you want your opponent to have to try to kill first, yeah. like the Decimator. The it's like, hey, ship, spend your you first will. four turns on this guy who's just going to be doing damage to you, and then lose. Lose to me. Um, so it's it's tough, though. Uh, as, oh, baby. There's the four hits, of course. As we saw at Worlds when, when Paul was playing, it's like Paul has Fat Han with Headhunters, and do you get rid of Headhunters first so you can have numbers yeah, on Han? It's tough. Or do you just go after Han and let the Headhunters eat you up? It's kind of a lose-lose, which is the goal of these lists. Well, they're doing a great job of it so far. One, one, two, three. One evade. Going to take the shield. Only three hits there from Gavin, so we're in the, the old evade dance here. Chewie need threes. Look at that. Got one. Gavin going to use his token. Send him home. Dang. Dang. You know, the funny thing is, like, it's still, we're only one crit away from Whisper being obliterated. That is the risk of running the Whisper. Um, but at the same time, you know, with Chewbacca rolling three dice, 50-50 on all those attack dice, you should see about one and a half as your average. So on one or two, Whisper pretty much needs to roll anything. Oh, going for it here. Woo! Man. Just putting it on the line. He's, he's just wanting to finish this thing. And it, I think it's right, actually, because the longer Whisper's in, the, the higher your odds of just rolling the blanks are. It takes a focus, too. Yep. Gonna target lock. Gonna spend the focus. Gonna get four hits here. Four hits. And again, you know, Whisper. So Dennis is guessing one here because he's got two. And there it is. Yeah. So one, two, three. Gonna take the shield. That's it. And here's another great chance for Dennis, honestly. Yeah. And then gets a focus and recloaks from Whisper. Yep. This is a great shot here. He needs those four hits again. Come on, baby. Give me something. There's two. Gets two. That's right down the line, and then just going to focus that. Evades everywhere, funky town. Yeah. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. Yep. Again, with two, though, it's... That that was Dennis's best best odds of the game right there uh, on offense. Boy, I'll tell you what. Anyone out there who's watching this game should be extremely excited because we have a brand new faction coming in very soon. That's going to change game. the whole game, by the way. There's so many anti-phantom things in Scum. Yes, it's absolutely true. We're going to have a three-pronged game, and I think it is going to take X-Wing to a brand new level. And uh, it's coming up now. It may be out, uh, you know. By the time you're watching by this. By the time we're watching this, honestly. Yeah, and this is this is kind of pretty classic meta pre-Scum. This, 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 these lists right here. So that's cool to see. And it... Uh, I know on the, the other side of this bracket, we've got some, some E-Wing action going on, as you oh, alluded baby. to earlier. So maybe some surprises still left in the current meta with new ships coming out. I think it's about to get wild. Mm. Yeah, there you go. There's five hits. I don't, I don't think there's anything to be done there. Uh, you're going to guess one and hope hope that that's, it. that's just yeah. going to be the five game. Five hits. Very well played by both these players. Congrats on making it, and congrats on the Empire. Oh, yeah, wild cards, man. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Store Championship from Tulsa, Oklahoma at the Covenant Store. We have another game from this top four, and then, of course, the finals coming at you. So stay tuned, and thanks so much for all the support and the views.